how to free skate, an in-depth tutorial. And right off the bat, I'll bust one myth. You do not need to have prior skating experience. Skateboarding, rollerblading, it's okay because free skating is completely different and you can learn it independently. I knew several people, including our very own Gabe Altier, who learned free skating first. So if no one's told you this yet, you're not gonna learn to free skate in a day. And even if you do, you'd be sabotaging yourself with bad technique. It's worth it to watch this video all the way through and follow the steps as we go. Without further ado, grab your skates and let's get started. It's important to find the right spot to learn to free skate. I recommend a nice open area with minimal traffic like this parking lot. Um, smooth ground and um, a slight angle helps because kind of like riding a bike, you have to be moving on free skates in order to balance, at least in the early days. Before you even touch your skates, we're gonna have to figure out two things. The first of which is, are you goofy or are you regular? For you non-skaters out there, that means is your right foot forward or is your left foot forward? Typically the foot that is forward is your dominant foot. So you can think of whichever foot you're gonna use to catch yourself if you're falling. A good way to demonstrate this is by closing your eyes, putting your feet together, and having a friend give you a nice push. And the second thing you're gonna to need to know is which skate is right and which skate is left. Um, there are two ways to know this. Firstly, it says it right here. And secondly, if you line up the wheels so that the wheels are going straight, there's an angle outwards to the plates. So now that we know which skate is your right and which one is your left, place them down in front of your feet. Also note that it doesn't matter that the direction that the grip tape is facing, as long as you have the right skate on your right foot and vice versa. Lean the skates so that they're tilted away from you and then step on with your toe on the ground and your heel on the skates. When you're placing your foot on the plate, notice how there's an angle to it you're gonna to wanna to put your foot at that exact angle every time because you're gonna make it harder on yourself if you change the angle between each attempt of trying to free skate. When you place your foot at the proper angle, you're gonna see that there's the same area on the left and right side of your foot and also make sure that the ball of your foot is about near the front of the deck. Now to get both of your feet on the skates, you're gonna to need to keep your knees really bent because if they're not, you're gonna feel like you're falling off the skate. Once both of your feet are on the skates, look down and look at the angle which the wheels are pointing. Um, this is what it should look like. Both of my skates are in a line and the wheels are pointing in the same direction. It might feel awkward at first, but you're gonna to need to be comfortable in this position in order to learn to free skate because this is the starting position for every one of your attempts. Zooming out and looking at the rest of my body, you can see that my feet are slightly farther than shoulder width apart and my knees are bent and my torso is upright and not hunched over. Okay, now still in this position, you're gonna pick up your front foot and push it back and forth and get a sense of what direction it's gonna be rolling in. Imagine a line going straight from that foot and look a few feet down that line, three to six feet down that line, and that's gonna be your target. So, stare at that target. You're not gonna be looking straight down at your feet. You're gonna be looking at your target, and that's the position that you're gonna be in for pushing off and riding free skates. If you haven't found a very good hill, you're gonna to need to give yourself a substantial push. So you can practice this by stepping off the skates and um, you basically just lean from your back foot and push onto your front foot, just like that. At the same time as doing that push, you're gonna tilt your back foot up so it's rolling. All right, so putting everything together, it's gonna to look a lot like this. Now, if you're like 99.9% .9 of the people, um, your first attempt did not look like that. So let's talk about what could go wrong. The first thing I think of that could go wrong is you lost your back skate on the push off. To correct for this, make sure that your weight is distributed evenly between your two feet. And when you're pushing off, you're not being too exaggerated about it. Just a little push, but keep that weight on the back foot. Next thing that could go wrong is you're leaning way too far forward or way too far back, and this happens. 
that's leaning too far forward and that's leaning too far back. When this happens, pay attention to where your skates are versus where you fell and realize that if your skates are in front of you, you lean too far backwards. And if your skates are behind you, that means you're leaning too far forwards. And the third thing that are going wrong is your feet are going in different directions and it's causing you to go into the splits. There's two versions of the splits. It could look like that or it could look like this. Now in order to address doing the splits, you're gonna to need to do one of two things. You're either gonna to need to point your toes together like this or point your toes apart like that. If you're doing the splits and your front foot is falling backwards like that, that means that you need to point your toes together to compensate and keep your feet in a line. If your front foot is pulling you forward, toes apart will compensate for that and keep your feet in a line. Now remember, learning to free skate is all about baby steps. Take joy in those little victories and keep focusing on your goals. Once you get to three feet, go to six feet. Once you get to six feet, you know, go to nine. After a certain extent, you're gonna exhaust your initial balance and you're gonna need to be able to stay on top of the skates. Kind of like if you're riding a bike. If you're falling to the left, you need to turn left. If you're falling right, you need to turn right. So, let's talk about turning. All right, so if you have ridden a skateboard, a longboard, or a ripstick, you're gonna need to throw those instincts to the curb and start anew with free skates. Because on free skates, turning is either pointing your toes together or toes apart. It has nothing to do with the lean of the skate. So if you're going along and you find yourself falling forwards, you're gonna to need to turn forwards. In order to turn forwards, point your toes together. If you're falling backwards and you wanna turn backwards, point your toes apart. Note that during turns, you need to keep your skates behind each other, just like you are when you're going straight. Just know that free skating is a serious challenge. I've heard of it taking people anywhere from a few days to a few weeks of consistent daily practice. Just trust the process and keep showing up every day. Your body will figure out the motions and eventually you'll get it down. To continue learning about pumping and how to go uphill, make sure to click on one of these two videos over here. Thanks for watching everybody, roll with us.